A lot of people have been wanting to see the three of us sisters together. Girl. I got a piece of tea for y'all. <laughs> Jordan, the channel where I pour tea on a variety of subjects and shows and then sweeten them with my opinions. I'm your host, Jordan Renee, and I want to thank you guys for taking the time, taking the ride, and having a drink with me. Okay, I just wanted to take a quick second because I wanted to talk about some real Housewives of Beverly Hills conspiracy theories that I have, specifically about Kim and Kyle Richards and Kathy Hilton, right? I truly believe that... Kyle brought Kathy on the show to do a lot of damage control on a lot of different fronts. And I'm going to break this down for you. One, I feel like she brought Kathy on the show to show that she does actually have a good relationship with at least one of her sisters because I think that most of the time while she's been on this show, we've seen her at odds with Kim. He stole my you goddamn house. house! And it's been a very fluctuating and back and forth, up and down relationship with her sister. You're so f***ing mean! And so I feel like maybe she brought that on to show that their family dynamic isn't complete chaos. I was I was told it would be better if I didn't come to the wedding, so I'm not going. Right? And so that, I feel like there's a chink in that armor because even while you brought on Kathy, you weren't talking to Kim at the time. Like, Kathy blew it out the water that you didn't have Kim's new phone number. So if that was a thought in your mind that you wanted to bring her on to show a more positive family dynamic, well, you kind of ruined that because y'all talk about all the time how y'all three are never really in the same place at the same time, right? It's like either two of y'all will be cool and then one will be cool. Then like one won't be cool or then one will be cool with one and not be cool with the other. Like it's always like there's always one that somebody isn't cool with at, at a time, right? And so, I feel like that was damage control for her reputation for her relationship with Kim. I feel like she's gotten a lot of slack over the years because she didn't realize how she came off to her sister sometimes. And she acknowledged that, I think maybe a couple years ago, maybe a season or two ago, where she acknowledged how the fans made her see her relationship with Kim differently. So I appreciate that she did take that bit of self-reflection and like realize that. But I do think that she did want to produce something to show the audience that, hey, not my entire family isn't in shambles, right? Also, I think that she wanted to position Kathy on the show to give another level of leverage as to why she should have her own spinoff with Kathy and Kim, right? And I think that this is a thing for real. I genuinely think that Kyle is getting tired of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills BS. I think she's getting tired of the hamster wheel and she's getting tired of the revolving door of drama and mess and issues and arguing about BS. And I think she's getting over it and I think she's ready to transition into something else. But I do think that she wants to remain on reality television, right? She knows that the public has a deeply invested interest in her relationship with her sisters, right? They know this. Andy brings it up anytime he talks to any one of them. He asks about Kim. He asks about Kathy. Even before Kathy was on the show, he would ask about Kathy, right? He would ask about Paris. He would ask about Nikki. Like, their family is just people who are interesting to the main zeitgeist, right? So, I think that she wants to eventually give it maybe one or two more years 
on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And then I think she wants to move on. And I think that she wants to show the dynamic between her sisters in a different light. So she's going to use these next couple seasons that she's on to heal her relationships with Kathy, which she did this season. And she's going to heal her relationship with Kim, which is going to happen either next season or the season after. And then all three of them are going to ride off into a right off into a spinoff in the sunset. That is my theory. The main piece of evidence that I have to back it up, it's not even real evidence. I'm not necessarily trying to convince you. I'm just saying that this is how I feel. There was an interview that they did with each other like three, four months ago where they interviewed each other and they were talking about, you know, just stuff, her joining the show, blah, 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 just random family stuff, da, 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 right? And it came up that the family dynamic, the three sisters dynamic, that came up in the interview, right? And there was something mentioned about them doing their own show or like that would be interesting to see them all film together, right? Would you be interested in doing a Richard sister, some kind of show together with you, Kim and me? I even said it in the comments of that video. I was like, did they just pitch a spinoff like low key? Like, did they just like subversively pitch a spinoff? Like, what just happened? Did I just see that right? Absolutely. Can you imagine that? Well, I think that's a plan. It just felt like that seemed a little too planned and a little too angled. Like, especially with Kathy Hilton. People think that Kathy Hilton is like almost like loony and kind of like off, like she's like kooky and quirky, like she's not all there. You gotta remember. Paris Hilton had to learn this stuff from somewhere. I think that Paris Hilton got this aloof, dumb, blonde, Marilyn Monroe-esque, but shrewd businesswoman in the boardroom type of personality from Kathy. I think she got it from Kathy, and I think that she got it from her grandmother because Kathy had to learn it from somewhere, and they all kind of speak to how tough as nails their mother was, right? So... If you go back and listen to it, the way that they say it, the way that they talk about it, it just sounds like, oh, well, wouldn't that be nice? Hmm. Things could go south pretty fast. You never know. <laughs> Basically, that's what I took from it. You know, with all of the stuff coming up with um, Beverly Hills getting, jump, get, getting a jump start on filming, I feel like part of that has to do with Paris getting married. Um, Paris is getting married soon. All of the Erica stuff is happening in real time. There's not much that we can extract from the Erica stuff in real time anymore. Like, it's not like we're allowed to be in the courtrooms or like see them go, you know, through the legal proceedings. We're not gonna be invited into Erica's lawyer's office. Like, there's only so much that we're going to get from the Erica story. So do I think that part of it is that they want to get started on the Erica thing? Sure. But I do also think that they want to have the housewives possibly be at Paris's wedding. Just a theory. I'm literally just talking out the side of my braids, girl. That's it. Um, I think that because Andy has such a vested interest in Paris Hilton, in Kathy Hilton, in the in the Hilton family, I think that he would be more than willing to executive produce this show. I feel like he'd be more than happy to green light this show. As Kathy Griffin says, he green lights Watch What Happened Live every season, so I'm sure he wouldn't have a problem with this, right? Shout out to Kathy Griffin, by the way. I hope that you're feeling okay. I'm thinking about you, I'm praying for you. Everybody who's watching this video, go pray for Kathy Griffin. She recently came out and said that she had lung, lung cancer. And for somebody who's never smoked in their life, I think it's absolutely insane that somebody like Kathy Griffin would develop lung cancer. So if you guys could just go and reach out to her, send her some love, tell them that Pouring With Jordan sent you. I've been a fan since your very first stand-up special and I have all 23, 24 of them. So yeah, I feel like what with Andy being so obsessed with Kyle's family, I feel like there's nothing he wouldn't do to have them have their own show and then get appearances from, you know, Paris, Nikki, Kim's children, talk about the wedding that um, Kyle wasn't invited to, talk about why 
they had such a problem with American woman. And let's dissect that. Talk about like why their dynamics are always so off and why one one has a problem with, with the other. I wanna know what Kathy's view is on Kyle and Mauricio being damn near solely financially responsible for Kim. I wanna know how she feels about that. Like there's a lot of questions that they could answer in this spinoff. And I really think that it's coming. Like, I wanna know, like, did, did Kyle steal Kim's goddamn house? He stole my you, goddamn I'm house! Like, Kathy's gonna know. Kathy's gonna tell the truth. Kathy's gonna know because I'm pretty sure that Kyle and Kim were both talk, talking to Kathy when they weren't talking to each other. Okay? There's so much that I need to know from that family. Like, I wanna know what Kathy's real feelings were on Paris's documentary and what she found out while she was filming that because for the way it looks in Paris's documentary, it looks like she found out everything that happened to Paris sitting in that chair while she was filming. That is crazy. That is legitimately crazy to me. If she literally found out all the things that happened to Paris while she was filming a documentary about Paris's trauma, that's not fair. I don't think that that's fair to fair to Kathy Hilton to do. But I do want them them to dissect it and I want um Kathy to have a real honest conversation with Kyle and or Kim because I feel like she's only going to say so much to Paris because she doesn't want to minimize or detract from Paris's pain and trauma. Even though I'm sure that Paris is healed by now, I think that she wouldn't want to make her relive that or you know, make it seem like she's trying to distract her or like take away from that or like make it about her. So I do want to see her have a real honest conversation with Kyle about it, specifically Kyle, because, you know, Kyle always, as quirky as Kyle is, Kyle does seem like the most sensible one out of all the three. Kyle seems logical, Kim seems batshit crazy, and then Kathy seems right there in the middle, right? I want to see them have a conversation about that and see her really be vulnerable about what that what that was about. Do you know what I'm saying? Do I feel like that could happen on the show? Yes. Do I feel like that's probably going to happen on the next season of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills? Maybe. Especially if they are trying to catch filming at Paris's wedding. I feel like Kyle is going to bring up the documentary on the show. Like, there's going to be things that she's going to bring up in relation to Paris Hilton and this wedding. So I want to see how that's covered on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, what they incorporate and what they choose to leave out. Because I feel like they may be preserving certain storylines for a, for a possible spinoff. And they're just waiting for all three girls to sign on. This is just a theory that I have. Just the way that I interpreted that messaging just kind of seemed like they were dropping dropping hints to producers, right? It seemed like they were just dropping hints to Andy. and was just like, as soon as they finished that interview and as soon as it aired, they sent that clip to Andy. I would love for that to happen. I would love for that to happen. I feel like that would be the most interesting show to come to Bravo in years. I feel like that would be the most interesting show to come to Bravo in a matter of years. Do you hear what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what y'all think. Because I feel like Kyle is plotting a spinoff. I feel like this is the spinoff she deserves if she's going to get a damn spinoff. I want to see a spinoff with her, Kathy, and Kim. And I want to see them fixing their relationship. Now, what I don't want to see is them like going on a retreat and it being like some setup event strategically placed for them to work on their relationship. Like, I don't want them to go on a family retreat. I want them to do the show kind of in the way that Tamar Braxton did Get Your Life, right? I want it to be like them just following them, really consciously going through the journey in real time and just like them doing the work as sisters in and out of therapy. Do I feel like they need family therapy? 100%. But... I feel like they can answer a lot of these questions. And I want to know if they do do a spinoff, did she use the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills as a redemption arc to make everybody forget what a cold-hearted bitch she looked like in the in the Paris documentary? I want to know. Is that what you thought that like yeah, it was COVID, yeah, you really didn't have nothing else to do even though you're booked and busy and you're rebuilding a 53 million dollar house. Like we get it, you ain't re you don't really have shit to do, but like
I don't know. Y'all drop down in the comments and let me know. Thank y'all for stopping by Porn with Jordan. Thank y'all for taking the time, taking the ride, having a drink with me. I appreciate you guys coming and enjoying me or watching me pour tea on the Richards, the Hiltons, Kim, Kathy, Kyle, all of that mess and what I think is coming for their future. And drop down and let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'll holler at y'all later, man. Peace. Whole rooster, girl. Whole... Do you see this? I got out the car at the park. Mind you, I'm filming for my YouTube channel right now. And I got out the car because that's how I end my videos. And I literally walked up on this chicken who scared the shit out of me. Like, that is crazy. Do you see this right now? So if anybody heard me screaming at the end of my video, this is why. Freaking insane.